Here is something that may seem very familiar to you. You wake up every morning and the minute you open your eyes, you are fumbling for the alarm to snooze it. And I've listened to people tell me that they can snooze it six to seven times and they can go back to sleep each time as if nothing. Is that you? Is that what happens to you? Are you familiar with people who feel that way every morning? Not quite ready to start the day, ever. I'm not a morning person, they'll say. Oh, I can't address anything until I uh, have my coffee. Don't look at me, don't talk to me until then. Do you know people like that? Are you like that? Because that's what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna talk about a gland in our body which is very small. It's like almost more or less the size of, of part of your thumb. And, and even though it's so small, it affects us so greatly. It's our adrenal glands. One of the biggest issues we have in this country, in the United States, is adrenal uh, exhaustion. People are walking around exhausted all day. And the only reason you don't know that, or the only reason they don't think uh, they are exhausted all day is because they wake up and take coffee and a few hours later they take it again and then it's time for a soda a few hours later and then another one a few hours later. And so even though they are in this little roller coaster of up and down with their energy, they don't notice it as much because they're depending on uppers all the time. We've become a society dependent on uppers in the morning to wake up and throughout the day. And what that has done is it has depleted our adrenal glands. Our adrenal glands are found right in the back, um, right above our kidneys. And when they are stressed during the day because of stressors that we meet or that we challenges that we have and face during the day, they get over um, worked. And if we are feeding our body things that constantly deplete the adrenal glands, where we well, we end up being a, a society that is very um, adrenal exhausted. So what are some of the symptoms that come with adrenal exhaustion? Well, you're going to have um, a lot of the time complaints with pain in your upper back and in your neck area. You're going to have dry skin, um, dry bottom of your feet, especially the back part, um, and, and unexplainable. I go and have my feet done all the time, but they're always rough. Uh, that's a sign of adrenal uh, deficiency. Uh, unexplainable hair loss, just hair that just falls off constantly that you can just, you know, and, and you have all this hair in your hands when, when you brush your, um, your hands uh, against your, your hair. Um, digestion issues, fatigue, wake up tired, tired throughout the day, brain fog, can't quite see clearly in the morning until I get something sugar related in my, in my blood. And you would think that if you're tired all day, you would sleep well. But people with adrenal deficiency actually suffer from insomnia as well. Anxiety. People with adrenal ex uh, deficiency will, have, will be anxious for certain things. And that anxiety will make them eat certain things more than they should. Like they'll crave uh, certain things in particular, like salty foods or sweets. And um, they will drive and go get it if they have to because they don't have it at home or they don't have it at the office. That's how anxious they get to have that in their system. Those are people that uh, have the tendency to focus on the negative and, and on and on. The list is, is just incredibly uh, long. If you're a woman, you'll have irregular periods. Um, you'll have more PMS. It's just a lot of things that have to do with adrenal exhaustion. And why do we have that? <laughs> you know, uh, if we did so little to change, if we did a couple of things, small things, little things in our lives to change things, we'd find that we'd get better with a lot of things health-wise. For example, if we slept at the right time, we would find that we, we do better with our health. If we ate the right things, if we drank enough water, if we did exercise, if we did those little things, and that's what I meant by little, little things, they would result in such huge benefits and, and, and huge good changes in our lives. So keep that in mind as you address your adrenal glands. You, you want to do all those things that I just mentioned. But what can help us to get the right mindset? There's a product that I really enjoy that's uh, full of adaptogens 
and that's this product, Adaptable. It actually gives our body what it needs to face stress so that we can respond to it appropriately. And if you um, take this during the day and also uh, pair it off with Soul Vital, you'll find that you can do a month's supply um, with just one of each and balance your adrenal glands that way. This is going to do a great to address a great deal to address your nervous system, and so will the um, adaptogens found in, in this. Because what they do is they're going to give your body what it needs to respond appropriately to stress, so that your adrenal glands aren't exhausted. And get in bed before 11 o'clock. By 11 o'clock at night till 1 a.m., your adrenal glands are replenished. So you need to be asleep by that time. And the biggest problem in this society is no one does that. So get a hold of your health, make the changes you need to do, and you're gonna find so much better. Um, you're gonna find that you feel so much better about everything and you help your adrenals to be renewed and you don't have to get on medication to deal with all these symptoms that we mentioned because really they're just a result of adrenal exhaustion.